hi, this is Mrs. NWI Prepper, and I'm back uh, finishing up my blueberries, and I'm uh, going to make my blueberry syrup, and um, it, start over, go ahead, hi, this is Mrs. NWI Prepper, and I'm back to finish up my blueberries, uh, and to make the syrup, I had to add more sugar, uh, I found out that uh, this recipe takes close to three cups of sugar and it just it smells so good and then I'm gonna add a little bit of my vanilla I got this um, my husband got this for me for anniversary it's Madagascar bourbon pure vanilla extract this stuff is wonderful it's like the best vanilla extract you can buy in the world and to be pure vanilla extract, it has to be at least 35% alcohol. And you could use this in sweet and savory dishes. And this quart's probably going to last me for the rest of my life and still be around. So I'm going to add a little bit of it. Not much, because I don't want to take away my blueberry taste. You can smell that vanilla. It smells so good with the blueberries. See how much I've cooked it down. You can see the line here. I've had these simmering. And I've already done the taste test. It's sweet enough. So I have to um, cool it down now. Strain out the blueberries. And what's left will be my syrup. For my pancakes so I'll be back when this has cooled down and uh, I can uh, strain it out I'll be right back talk to you later okay I'm taking the blueberries out now uh, I have this strainer it is just it's great I've had it for about 37 38 years it's an echo and I don't know what I'd do without it. Because you can, you know, strain the grease off your hamburger or whatever. You know, I'm using it to do this. And I realized how many berries were in here. Is that easy? It is to use. I want a little bit of juice left in there with the berries so that they're still moist in the pancakes and the cobbler. But I don't think I'm going to have a, a whole lot for cobbler. I think I'm going to strain that twice. I might put it through a, a screen uh, strainer after I do this one. There is a lot of berries in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put that through a screen. Uh, screen. Cause there's, there's too much juice still in there. Look at all these berries. I mean, they they look small because I did, you know, I had to cook this down so far because I wanted to make some syrup out of it. And I didn't get really large berries. I really don't care for the really big ones. Uh, I like the smaller ones better in a pancake. Because you seem to be able to spread them out better. I think I got them all. 
Yep. Now I'll put this back on and let it um, thicken up. I'll put it on about two. I don't want it to do it real uh, quick because it'll start to burn the syrup then. Um, see how much syrup I really had in these berries. That was a, quite a bit. It would have made soggy pancakes. This is also an echo strainer that I've had probably about as long as I've had that other one. But see how much I got back out of there for my syrup and my blueberries are still moist so I'll pour this back into here and I'll have to uh, just let this go and reduce it until it's the thickness that I want for my syrup the way that we like it I, I wish I'd get a hold of some boysenberry because we just love boysenberry syrup so this is going to cook oh uh, I've got it on low so probably about maybe a, a half an hour because see it's still too too watery but I'm telling you, I got I I want to take a little taste of this. And always when you taste, I don't care if you taste something a hundred times, use a clean utensil. I'm telling you that vanilla just makes this. If you have a chance, please try to get yourself some pure vanilla extract. Make sure that it says that it's 35% alcohol. That, and if you look it up online, it will tell you. I mean, all my cookbooks say it. I have a lot of cookbooks. All my cookbooks say, for real, I pure vanilla extract it is 35 percent alcohol i know a lot of people make their own vanilla but you know look for that so i'll be back with when this is ready and i'll show you the thickness of it okay because it's starting to boil already all right talk to you later Okay, this syrup is done. Well, no, not really. I wanted it two thirty. I don't want to touch the bottom of the pot because that'll make it hotter. It's at two twenty-five, so it's probably going to take the extra three minutes. And I was surprised. I only said timer for fifteen. And about three. It says one ten to two thirty, but I want it two thirty because it'll make a thicker. Um, syrup, which is what I like. It's at 225 right now. So,
Yeah, it's only hitting 225. So it's gonna, there's two minutes left on the timer, so it's gonna take that, um, that extra two minutes. But as you can see, it's getting nice, like, you know, regular syrup. And when it's done, I'm gonna cool it down, put it in a container. This amount of syrup will not last long in our house at all with blueberry pancakes because I love blueberry pancakes and so does my husband. So, when that timer goes off, this will be ready positively. It'll be at 2.30 because I can see now that it's getting thick. I've spread out my blueberries in the bowl so they'll cool so I can get them in a container and get them in the refrigerator. And they're just about there. And watch it with blue blueberry. Whenever you're cooking with blueberries, it stains so bad. I always use a corning ware bowl because it washes right out. If you use like metal or plastic or whatever, you're gonna have a stain. And plus, it does wash off of uh, a wooden spoon really easily too. It doesn't stain your wooden spoons because I I I'm just. I have a thing about using wooden spoons for everything. Okay, I'm down to a minute. Let's see what this says now. There we got it. 2.30 on the head. So, syrup's done. Has to cool now. And when we do have the blueberry pancakes, I'll do a, another video on it. And there went the timer. Right on time. It got done. Um, this amount, which I figure is a, oh, it's, it's pro, it's a little over a cup. Uh, took 15 minutes to cook down. Uh, of course, you know, if I'd had it whipped to here, I'd still be cooking it. So, thank you for watching. And try making your own, uh, syrup instead of buying the store-bought. Because you know what you're putting in it? I didn't put any additives in here. I put uh, pure cane sugar and pure vanilla extract. And that's... And a little bit of water when the blueberries were in. And um, that's all I did. So, give it a try. I'm telling you, you will not regret these. You'll think... You won't ever want restaurant blueberry pancakes again. Okay. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And get in the kitchen and cook. Because it's fun. Talk to you later. This is Mrs. NWI Prepper. Bye.